Bediüzzaman Said Nursi's achievements, personality, character and continuing influence make him an important 20th century Muslim figure, a most effective and profound representative of Islam's intellectual, moral and spiritual strengths. He spent most of his life overflowing with law and order for Islam, pursuing a wise and measured activism based on sound reasoning and following the Quran and the prophetic example. Much has been said and written about the lofty ideal he pursued and his deep familiarity with the world and his times, as well as his simplicity, austerity, tenderness, loyalty, chastity, modesty, and contentedness. Though outwardly simple, many of his ideas and activities were wholly original. He embraced humanity, opposed unbelief, injustice, and religious deviation, and struggled against tyranny even at the cost of his life. His deep belief and feeling, when combined with his wise and rational ideas and problem-solving methods, produced an example of law, order, and feeling. His balanced thoughts, acts, and methods of acting made him a far-sighted man who assessed and judged surrounding conditions and solved problems. Born in a small mountain village in eastern Anatolia, Said Nursi voiced the sighs and laments of the whole Muslim world, as well as its belief, hopes and aspirations. Said Nursi completed the normal madrasa, traditional religious school education, when he was 14. Unlike traditional religious scholars, Said Nursi studied natural and social science, mathematics, and philosophy. During World War I, he was captured and held by the Russians for two years. After his escape and return to Istanbul, he began expounding Islam's pillars. When a revolt broke out in southeastern Turkey in 1925, Said Nursi and many others were sent into internal exile. Until his death in 1960, he lived under strict surveillance in various prisons or was persecuted. At first he was forced to live a wretched isolated life in Barla, a mountainous village in southwestern Turkey. However, he found true consolation in the omnipresence of God and in complete submission to Him. The basic works of the Risale-i collection, the words and the letters, were written in Barla under harsh conditions. Handmade copies soon circulated throughout Turkey, which aroused government hostility. Although he always opposed revolt and breaches of the public peace and order, and stressed that one person's rights could not be violated even for society's sake, he was accused of working to destroy the public order in 1935. On his death in Urfa on March 23, 1960, which may well have been the night of power in Ramadan, the coroner fixed his estate as a turban, a gown, and 20 lira. The real legacy of this hero of Islam was the 6,000-page Risale-i Nur collection.